It's no secret the toddler years are full of transitions from bottles to cups, from cribs to toddler beds, from pacifiers to other comfort items, and from diapers to underwear. It's a lot going on all at once, and it can be very stressful, not only for our kids, but also for us. So you might be wondering, what is the best order? Well, how do I make that judgment call? I know I shouldn't be doing all of these things all at once. I don't wanna overwhelm my child. So how do I figure out the right order in which to change these things so that the transitions are ideally speaking as smooth as possible. Well, that's what we're going to cover in today's episode. I'm going to go over the ideal um, order in which these things are changed and why. So let's dive in. Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Dr. Jasmine. I am a licensed clinical psychologist as well as a mom of two little girls. And around here, we love to talk about all things positive parenting, child development, as well as how do we keep our own sanity as parents. So it is so good to have you here back in another um, episode. I'm really excited for this one because this is a commonly asked question. Uh, like what comes first? Am I supposed to be potty training or getting rid of the crib? Am I supposed to be um, ditching the pacifier or should I start with potty training first like how do I make these judgment calls so I'm excited to dive into my rationale my recommendations um, on a, the optimal order but before we do I just want to share with you that if you're going to start potty training soon I have a whole checklist bundle it's called the potty training starter pack where I include checklists on how to know if your child is ready to start in the first place uh, potty training essentials as well as how to mentally prepare our child for the journey ahead as well as how do we prepare our, ourselves mentally um, so go ahead and download those checklists by going to the mompsychologist.com forward slash potty checklist if you are watching on YouTube all the links will be down in the description and the comment section but again it's the mompsychologist.com forward slash potty checklist to download those free um, potty checklists <laughs> all right let's go ahead and dive into the episode so let's imagine that all things are true for a second. Let's imagine that you want to start potty training. You want to uh, transition your child from a crib to a toddler bed. And let's also imagine that you're also facing um, the issue of needing to ditch the pacifier. So let's just imagine all three, th three things are true. If that is you, then I recommend that you start start with the pacifier. Ditch the pacifier first before you start any of the other things. And here's why. Um, a lot of the times, I mean, every child is different in terms of how they handle the transition, but a lot of the times this is the easiest one for kids to do and it's the quickest one. Uh, commonly, it takes a couple days, uh, maybe a couple weeks, but then over time they adjust um, to uh, their new reality. Now I did make a whole entire episode on how to ditch pacifiers both quickly but also gently because I think that's really important that we have to do a little bit of groundwork before we actually ditch the pacifiers so that we set everybody up for success. So that's important. So definitely check out that episode after you watch this one. But if you are trying to decide, okay, which one comes first, potty training or pacifier? Go with the pacifier. What about which one comes first, toddler bed? Um, or pacifier start with the pacifier first um, and then work your way down the list now here's the thing about cribs let's talk about cribs um, so what's important to remember and a lot of sleep consultants will recommend this is that it is best for your for your child to sleep in their crib for as long as it is safe to do so and the reason is that it takes kids a, a while to understand from a developmental level how to stay in their bed given their newfound freedom it's really hard for or especially those young toddlers to understand that they need to stay in their bed and get their rest um, even though <laughs> they have all this freedom available to them and so that can 
result in a lot of behavioral issues and frustration around sleep if you do it too early. Now, of course, though, I will say a huge caveat here. If you have safety concerns, right? If your child is beginning to climb out of the crib and they fall in or whatever, and you're like, I don't think this is safe anymore, then absolutely you want to start thinking about transitioning them to a toddler bed. But I wouldn't transition them just yet until you've made sure you've done some of the um, I guess, you know, preventative work to make the crib a little bit safer. So commonly what is recommended is that you lower their crib, you turn around their uh, crib so that the railing is on the higher side, you remove any like nearby furniture, anything that they could potentially like climb out of. Um, you could even put them in a sleep sack um, so that they don't, you know, their mobility is a little bit limited. So I would definitely try those things out first before you're just like, okay, we've got to get rid of the crib altogether. Now, again, I did create a whole entire separate episode on how to smoothly transition your child from a crib to a toddler bed. Um, and I go into more depth about those things. So definitely check out that video. But I would try to keep, you know, ideally in a perfect world, I would try to keep your child, um, in a crib if you can if it is safe um, closer to age three okay so with that being said let's talk about potty training now when it comes to potty training this is less about age and more about your child's developmental readiness. So children typically in the US, they will start potty training anywhere from between 18 months to 36 months. I mean, so that's a huge age range, right? So every child is going to start at a different time. But really what I love to recommend to parents is don't focus on the age, focus on whether or not your child is developmentally ready. So definitely check out those checklists um, that I mentioned earlier in this episode because the first checklist includes all of the developmental or common developmental signs of potty training re readiness. Um, so again, go to the mompsychologist.com forward slash potty checklist to download this checklist. And I also created a video that kind of walks you through um, how to decide whether or not your child is ready to potty train. So you can also check that out too. But some of the common things um, to look out for is that your child is uh, has the motor ability. So they're able to walk to and from the potty. That's a very important skill for them to have mastered um, so that they can independently get themselves to the potty. Um, also that they can maneuver their clothes and you know push their pants down and pull their pants back up. Um, these are things you can help them with, of course, but that's a good skill for them to kind of at least start practicing before you start the journey. Um, in terms of um, linguistic or language skills, you want to um, try to look out for if they can like recite their ABCs. Um, maybe they're even starting to use words for um, potty, like they're starting to have some potty language like pee and poop and potty. Um, emotionally and socially, you want to look out for interest and curiosity in the potty. Maybe they're following you <laughs> um, to the potty or they're talking about it. They're just like fascinated by it. Um, they're mentioning it. That's also a great sign. Another common sign is that they're able to use symbolic thought, um, which means that they're able to picture something in their mind because that is going to be so important, right? They're going to have to register mentally that they have to go potty um, and then register and, and mentally picture the potty to make the plan to actually go potty. I know these are things that we like commonly take for granted as adults because you're like, just go to the potty. But from a developmental perspective, this takes um, that kind of higher order thinking. So evidence of symbolic thought would be if they can use different objects to symbolize different things. So commonly, a common example is like being able to use a banana to symbolize talking on the phone. That is evidence of some symbolic thought. So definitely download those checklists for a complete and comprehensive list of developmental signs to, to look out for. But that's what you want to base your decision off of. So in terms of like when to start, uh, you want to make sure that your child is developmentally ready because if they are not, <laughs> then you're going to have a lot of trouble, right? Um, 
and a lot of unnecessary stress for them and for you. The other thing to keep in mind when it comes to transitions is I'm a fan of spacing them out if you can. Of course, life happens. This is not always possible, but whenever, if you can give your child a three-month buffer, uh, maybe a little bit of less, maybe a little bit more, just depending on your child, but three months is like a good amount of time where you um, give them time in between the changes. So let's say you get rid of pacifiers in January. Then January, February, March, you don't wanna start thinking about potty training, let's say if you decided that they're ready until maybe around you know February, March. And then maybe you start to think about transitioning them to a toddler bed in April, May, June. <laughs> so just kind of spread those things out. You don't want to overwhelm your child with too many things to adjust to all at once if you can, if it is possible. Um, again, don't forget to download those free potty training checklists um, for more help if you are thinking about starting potty training. Um, I have so many resources here as well on my YouTube channel. All of of the episodes that I mentioned will be linked down below if you are watching on YouTube. Um, and that's it for this video. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section and I will see you in the next one. Bye.